happy Randy Tuesday. Good morning, everybody. We are live on Instagram and on Facebook. Welcome to Coffee Talk Tuesday. Happy Tuesday. Let me get my let me get my shot. Let me get my. Ooh, this coffee's hot. <laughs> this coffee is hot. Uh, Happy Coffee Talk Tuesday. Okay, good morning. Hope everybody's doing really well. It's raining here in the Northeast. As usual, we give everyone a few minutes to come on. Happy Tuesday. Happy Tuesday, Tracy. We needed a little rain. My garden needed a little rain. This is exciting. Today we're going to talk about Facebook Libra, right? We're going to learn. I'm going to talk about the basics about Libra. I'm not going to go into like depth, depth, depth of Libra, but um, we're going to talk about the basics enough where you understand what it's about. Insta James, you're now on Instagram too. How are you? Good morning, everyone. Don't forget to follow us on Instagram, Facebook, YouTube, and Twitter at Stark Media Group NY. That's where we are. We're always bringing you guys the latest and the greatest. And everything that we talk about here today on Coffee Talk Tuesday goes on to our private Facebook group, which you can join, Stark Media Marketing Group. Good morning, Kels. Thanks for joining. Okay. So we'll give everybody a few minutes to get on. I hope everybody's having a great summer so far. This week's going to be gorgeous, right? We're going to have 80, 90 degree weather and sunny all week. It's so exciting. So exciting. Hmm. And coffee's hot. We're going to be talking about Facebook Libra today. I have all my notes here because I don't want to, because it's such a new subject and I was just learning all about it too. So I don't want to say anything wrong. And if anybody has any questions, Regarding Libra, um, please be sure to you know write them in, DM us, ask us on Facebook or Instagram or whatever, um, because you know help us learn too. And I know there's a lot of controversy out there about the Libra and some concerns, which there should be. We're not really going to go into all of that. We're just going to kind of talk about what Libra is, so everybody understands what Libra is. Okay, all right. Well, let's start. We gave everybody a few minutes to get here, so. So basically, um, what is Facebook Libra? So it is a digital currency, okay? So when we go online, you can't shove a dollar bill into a computer, right? So we need digital currency. So Facebook has now created their own digital currency. Um, and, but what Facebook's, Facebook's going about it a little bit of a different way, okay? So... economy. It's a little like PayPal. It's a little like Venmo. It's a little like Bitcoin. But Bitcoin is very volatile and it's really not controlled. Um, Libra is going to be more controlled. So um, so it, it's, it's kind of like that. But Libra is trying to do this without banks or credit cards. And I'll explain this. I'll explain what that means. Okay. So um, Bitcoin and some of these other digital currencies are run by something called blockchain technology. Go do, Google blockchain technology, okay? Because it's kind of over my head, but basically what blockchain technology does is it's a distributed record of transactions. So that means it records who owns how much coin and who transfers what coin to whom. That is blockchain technology in a nutshell. But if you really want to learn about it and where it came from and what it is, then you should Google that. So it is run by a blockchain technology and it also has an investment group. OK, Libra Association is the investment group behind Libra. What is that? That is Visa, MasterCard, PayPal, Uber. So Facebook wanted wants to raise a billion dollars right? A billion dollars in coin to fund this. And so they're asking all these major companies, which they have gotten, they've gotten 28 major companies to invest 
And a lot of them are investing like $10 million into Libra. They've gotten MasterCard, they've gotten Visa, they've gotten PayPal, they've gotten Uber. And that is the Libra Association that is investing behind Facebook Libra to get it launched, okay? So how does it work? Hi, Austin, thanks for joining. So how does this work? So basically, oh, I just had a poor connection. Um, so basically, Libra, you're going to be able to access Libra through your apps, okay? The wallet is going to be called Cala Libra. That's your wallet. Libra is the coin, Cala Libra is your wallet. And it's going to be available on Facebook Messenger and WhatsApp. Those are the two platforms that's going to immediately be available. Um, and basically, it's, it's, it's like Venmo, you know, sending money to one another. But it's, you're going to be able to do it without a bank account to a certain extent. So here's the quote from Facebook, okay? They're trying to transform the global economy. <clears throat> and basically, this is what they've looked at. <clears throat> Excuse me. This is from Facebook. Half of the adults in the world don't have bank accounts. And numbers are worse in developing companies countries and even worse for women. The cost of exclusion is high. Approximately 70% of small businesses in developing countries lack access to credit and $25 billion is lost by migrants every year through remittance fees. Remittance fees <clears throat> is basically when um, someone sends money to a, like basically a foreigner or a migrant is sending money back to their country. Um, it actually competes with, uh, like if you're, if like the U S is, is, is sending a foreign aid to say, um, you know, a developing country, like any of the central, uh, central America, if we're helping central America at all, that the uh, foreigners actually compete with foreign aid by sending money in, but the remittance fees are so high, they're losing $25 billion in remittances. So what Facebook wants to do is they want to lower these costs tremendously. And okay, I'm a migrant worker. I am here in the US. I, I have money. I want to send this money to my family in Central America. <clears throat> they don't have a bank account, but they have a phone and they have Cali Libra. I can send them $5 and now they have $5 coin on Facebook to use as money. Does that make sense? So you can send someone money who does not have a bank account, but if they have the app, they can use the money that is transferred into the app for purchases. And so a lot like MasterCard jumped on, Uber jumped on, all these other companies are jumping on. So it's going to be a way of paying. So what they're thinking is eventually when you go out to groceries or anything like that, it's going to be a choice to pay. Say, I want to go up to, you know, an auto store and I need some new windshield wipers for my car. It's going to be an option to pay in Libra. And that's what people are thinking. So right now, Facebook really is trying to reach, um, undeveloped countries and to make it so that the you can use this Libra without a bank account and then also keep the fees very, very low. Like if you use Western Union or anything like that, you know the fees are very high. Even if you do bank transfer fees, sometimes they could be very high. Well, Facebook wants to keep all this very low. And Libra is going to be tied to the U.S. currency. So one Libra coin is going to be equal to one U.S. dollar. Okay. Um, I already said that they intend to share control with uh, organizations, including uh, venture capital firms, credit card companies, other tech giants. And, um, you know, Facebook has 2.5 billion users. So I think it's going to catch on. <laughs> I think people and this is the thing, you know, most of us I use Venmo. Have I ever done a lot of research on Venmo? I didn't. I use Venmo because it's convenient because everybody uses Venmo and it's it's very easy for me to send money. I also use Zelly, but Zelly is really for the banking system. So it's easy for me to use Zelly and it's it's trusted because it's a banking system. But I mean, let's face it, Venmo, 
I didn't ever vet Venmo. I just started downloading the app, connected it, and started using it. And Libra's going to be kind of the same way. People are going to start using it for convenience. That's what it's going to be able to do. Um, <clears throat> so I just, I'm looking at my notes here to make sure I'm not missing anything. Um, it says you will be able to purchase Libra with cryptocurrency, but I'm not even going to go into that. The thing is with Bitcoin, Bitcoin, there was only so much Bitcoin created. So with the blockchain technology, it's very easy to trace Bitcoin and Bitcoin can be volatile because of trading. You're not going to be trading Libra. This is not something that's going to be traded. So it's not going to be volatile and it's going to be equal to the US dollar. So it's always going to be one coin for one dollar. Um, and Cal Libra is going to be your wallet to keep your money in there. Uh, is it secure? Well, let's face it. Facebook did already have, um, you know, a security breach. And most of these apps and most of these things that we're using, even Facebook, like if you're going to be using this cryptocurrency, you, you know, my advice to you is that you really should be educated on cryptocurrency and have an understanding of the privacy and basically the freedom that you're giving up. Um, when you're going to be using these types of things, especially if they're tracked and they can follow you and, and you're giving information, you know, online. I mean, there's so much information now that they already know. They're going to know even more if you're going to be using the Libra. You know, that's basically the way that it, it, that it is. So um, that is Libra in a nutshell. Um, I don't know if you guys have any questions regarding it. You know, the government is actually talking right now about ways to control this. Um, they, they are having discussions over Facebook Libra, but I was listening to um, a podcast last night and, you know, they made a very good point when they had Mark Zuckerberg, um, you know, before, um, you know, in his hearing. And one of the questions to Mark Zuckerberg was, well, how did, I mean, from a congressman or senator, I'm not sure which one. And, you know, they basically said, well, how do you make money? You know, they didn't even understand the concept of Facebook. And Mark Zuckerberg just said, we sell ads, you know. So so honestly, it's almost hard to say that the government would have any control over this or even really know what to do with this Libra because they didn't even understand Facebook to begin with. So then how are they going to be putting controls on Facebook, which is this giant it's just this internet giant with 2.5 billion people on it you know what i mean like i don't know it, it's do i think it's supposed to be launched in 2020 do i think it'll get launched and used i do think it'll get launched and used you know facebook is jumping on to the whole venmo paypal um uh visa mastercard apple apple pay you know they're just jumping on it's just that they're going to keep the fees lower they're going to work without a bank and they're aiming it towards developing countries that don't have banking systems. That's what they're aiming it to first. Will it develop? I mean, will other people use it? Of course, it's going to be convenient. And will it become global? It's a good, chain, a good chance it will become global. So um, that's about it on Libra and cryptocurrency. We may bring you guys more. I will put all of this on our private Facebook group um, with some more explanations and maybe links to the articles that I was reading about it. So Stark Media Marketing Group on Facebook, be sure to join it. Uh, follow us on Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, and Twitter at Stark Media Group NY. I hope you guys have a great Tuesday. I just spilled my coffee. Um, we have a class coming up at the Miller Business Center, and that's going to be on um, July. I'm going to have to check that. I think it's July 30th, and we're going to be talking about Instagram. This is actually um, a more in-depth class on Instagram. We Kelsey gave a uh, two-hour class on Instagram, and it went over so well, and everybody had so many questions um, that we actually extended it to three hours. And we're going to do a lot of Q&A because that's where people mostly learn. We're going to be putting that up on our um, Facebook and Instagram so you guys will be able to link that. But just put that in your calendar that it's going to be at the Miller Business uh, Center um, Instagram class. So that's what's coming up. 
and we will see you next Tuesday. I can't think of anything else that I have to announce, but we will see you guys next Tuesday and have a great week. And please, Send in your questions, your comments. Let us know what you guys think about Libra. We want to know what everybody thinks about Libra. Like, will you be using Libra? Do you think it's safe to be putting more information on Facebook? Do you want to share more information with Facebook than they already have, um, especially if they had a security breach? Now, this is the other thing that I was reading, too. Of course, they're saying that they're going to be putting all the securities in place just like the banks do. They even said that if you lose money, they're going to give it back to you. Okay. That's in one of, that's actually on the Facebook update. So, you know, we follow Facebook and, and whenever they publish an article about something, they actually said that they're going to refund you if you lose your money on Libra. So, you know, that's a pretty bold statement. Um, they say they're going to put all the securities in place like bank banks do. I mean, we do use Venmo. We do use PayPal. You know, I use them. I feel pretty secure with them. So um, I don't know. We'll see. All right. Let us know what you guys think. Have a great Tuesday and we will see you next, next week. Bye-bye.